Hey traders from around the world, it's your boy Jeremy Alexander Newsom with reallifetrading.com. Thank you so much for being here and watching our quick stock review. Today we're going to look at some stocks and first and foremost on the list is the SPY. If you do use TradingView, you'll notice you have a nice long lower shadow. Don't exactly know how, know how long that lower shadow will be there, but it's not entirely accurate. If you were using TrendSpider, they just came out some really, really cool new session charts uh, that make the data a lot, lot better. And you'll see here on SPY that you don't have that massive lower shadow. Uh, what is really interesting on the SPY is this was a gap on a Monday, my friends, on a Monday. So not only did we really break out of this previous all-time high, but we gapped above it. I mean, just incredibly, incredibly strong, really, really powerful. And man, we really might hit that 350 mark, potentially even this week. It seems crazy to say, but it is, it's possible. I mean, this week, you have this week and the next Monday. So man, oh man, incredible stuff happening. Let's go look at Amazon, ticker symbol AMZN and Amazon. Um, watching this one very closely, I am in a debit spread on Amazon. Uh, my debit spread is a 4,400 January bull call spread. And what we have right now is this nice little consolidation here on Amazon. You had a really, really pretty high wave candle today and a nice little pennant pattern in the last four days. So if we close above the high of today's candle at any point this week, I mean, Amazon is just going to slowly keep grinding and it's going to be really, really good for anyone that has a uh, any kind of bullish position. So be patient. Again, their earnings were the best earnings they've ever had, ever, 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 as far as just sheer um, reporting is concerned. So best earnings of all time, chart is bullish, Amazon bullish company looks really toasty. Let's go review um, some stocks that were requested, but before I do, we did hit one of our swing trade targets on Google today at 1600. We played that based on this perfect hammer back from July 30th and uh, got triggered into this hammer on August 7th and we just hit the target today on Google, which was nice. We did get stopped out of Upwork today though, UPWK. Thought this was a really nice breakout on August 20th and I was wrong. Uh, it was not a breakout, so it reversed on us and stopped us out. Yeah, so I'll keep a close eye on Upwork. It'll be interesting to see what happens if it gaps up and bounces off of that 50, because it very well could. In long term, I actually do love some Upwork. It's just riding the struggle bus a little bit right now after having a beautifully strong 168% move. Nothing compared to, though to its counterpart, Fiverr. Fiverr is up a gargantuan 360% since April. And this is one that I would love to get a little bit more of a pullback on. My buddy Pablo got called away with a 110 covered call and is looking at buying some shares lower on Fiverr, most likely around 100. So keep your eyes peeled for Fiverr to do something interesting. Twitter, we're in a swing trade on Twitter. And I would love a target at 42, although we may or may not get there, I'm not sure. This was a great, great gap on Twitter today. Really, really beautiful, clearing multiple pivots, uh, multiple highs, multiple upper shadows, and just a really, really outrageously amazing gap to trade on really any time frame. But if you look at the extended hours, you had a perfect break above the pre-market high wave bear candle there, stop loss could have been there or something kind of semi-conservative and boom, you got yourself an hour and a half and some change on Twitter pretty early this morning. I did have some stocks that requested today. Let me go ahead and dive into those really quick. RKT, so RKT, which is Rocket Companies, AKA Rocket Man. This is Elton John's company, just kidding, dumb joke. Um, this one is making some good moves. You do have earnings and not the near to too distant future. What we have right now is just a perfect, perfect S-curve. Really beautiful on Rocket Company. And it all started from this one white soldier right here, right? Learn those candles because there's your one white soldier back there on August 18th. That's the day you could have gotten in. One white soldier, high wave candle, perfect gap, close above it on the 19th, double bottom, get in, get in, get in. In. So at this point, you probably don't want to be getting in now on Rocket Company. Most likely you want to look for something like that. Buy the dip, five white candles in a row, give it some time, give it some patience, let it just chill for a day or two, and then look to uh, kind of snag and bag some type of pullback. Speaking of pullback, Tesla 
right? Obviously, white candle, gapping up, all-time high, insanely huge move on Tesla. Here's the Mr. Squiggles, and is this gonna be the exact top on Tesla? I don't know. Um, I don't know. Uh, when I say the exact top, let me make sure I'm very clear. This is not the all-time high on Tesla by any means. Tesla will absolutely go higher. Is this the short-term top? Probably. Uh, will I be surprised if we have a small up day tomorrow, a little bit of an inside candle? No. And then the exact same thing I said about this candle and this candle and this candle and that candle and that candle and that candle and that candle. If we close above the high of this bearish candle on Tesla, uh, she's going to absolutely just tear up the charts and make every bear a believer. So Tesla, we'll see what it does. I do like the pullback, but I'm really, really excited about the split right around the corner next Monday. And a really cool little thing that Tracy Ball showed me. Tracy, by the way, one of our new mentors, if you are a lady out there and you wanna represent some of your incredible female power in trading, pop over to reallifetrading.com. So you can see right here, this is the mentoring tab. And if you click on that mentoring tab, you'll actually get a list of all the traders who are working and creating and building some really incredible, insightful, impactful, enriching, and fun mentorship groups. And uh, this is Tracy's right here. She has three slots remaining. So make sure to get in there very quickly uh, because that is going to sell out by next week. So dive in, pop in, be in. But the reason I'm bringing up Tracy and her excellence is she taught, she taught a lot of us that you can do this in TradingView. So you can type this in and what it does is it doesn't change the chart, it just changes the price. So it lets you know we can start planning now how to calculate the actual price of the instrument itself after the split. And really what I'm looking for is this 320 to 300 area to load some boats on Tesla. Again, I don't know if it's gonna happen for sure, but that's just what I'm keeping my eyes on. It would make a lot of sense if it does occur. I can assure you this is gonna hit 420.69 at some point after the split. That'll be a good spot to buy it, by the way. But uh, yeah, buy as low as we possibly can. Obviously, that's always the goal. Uh, 320, 300, 280, 260. So divide Tesla by five in a trading view and you can get that chart right there so that you have a general idea of price-wise, some options that you can sell, uh, some, you know, some prices you can set some limit orders up, things of that nature. So that's really helpful. Thank you, Tracy, for showing us that little tip and trick. The other two stocks that were requested, we have CRM and Plan. So Salesforce got downgraded recently, um, but that doesn't really matter. And here's the weekly chart. So we're gonna be watching this one very closely since earnings are coming up. Here's my take on earnings. If Salesforce gaps down, but very small, and it gaps into like 195, um, that's where I would look to buy the dip. So if it gaps down small, if it gaps down larger, and opens around 190, then yeah, we could probably play a little bit of a short move down into about 170 and then expect a dip. And if it gaps above 212, I mean, pfft just off to the races again, why not? That's pretty much what everything else has been doing recently. Stonks only go up for now. Here's plan PLAN. This was another one that was requested and on the daily chart, another earnings that is right around the corner. Uh, really interesting to see what happens with the earnings on plan. I don't specifically know exactly what this company does, but I would say if the stock gaps above 52, That'd probably be the best gap I could envision for a day trade and or really, really quick swing trade. And if it gapped down, I'd be more non-directionally bullish on this stock. So if it gapped down to here, I'd probably look for a fade or maybe some bull put spreads or some put sales or something. And if it opened right here, so right below the low of August 21st, yeah. I would short it with my eyes closed. So anyway, we'll see what happens. I will be in the morning day trading room tomorrow if you want to be in there with me. Tomorrow, Wednesday and Thursday. All you got to go, reallifetrading.com. Click on live trading. And I'll be in the day trading room tomorrow, Wednesday and Thursday. I'll see you guys then. You rock. And until next time, love life, love life, and trade. Bye.